teachers let's see how we can make children get engaged with language that is the way we have learnt languages not one language many languages for example we never learn to read by listening to somebody reading out we ourselves indulged in reading that's what we call it engagement with language teachers in this short discussion we will find ways and means how a teacher can engage children to work in and work with the language teachers we know that when children come to school at 3 plus or even 3 or 4 plus whatever the age they come to school they come with one fully blown language orally they can speak for example hindi mother tongue child knows hindi very well to speak to use for purposes she or she may not be able to read but oral language the child knows and the child also uses the language grammatically correct orally so it means that the child knows grammar implicitly not explicitly so this is one and the second language is introduced in indian context mostly it is english language and there are problems of children in minor minority tribal language context the home language and the language of the neighborhood is different from the language of the school so let's see some activities through which we can how we can build familiarity with the language and engage children with language the first and foremost i believe we believe that creating language rich environment in the classroom how children come to school they have to notice language noticing by seeing noticing by hearing not even listening hearing so here is a teacher who has created language rich environment by writing the ob- names of the objects names of the objects on them in whatever languages available in the classroom see how a teacher creates language rich environment in the classroom what she has done is she has written the names of the objects on them in whatever language languages available in the classroom so here is a typical cl- indian classroom wh- where you can find more than 2 3 languages so here th- on the on the door on the door of the classroom she has written in hindi english and tamil so children the same way on the wall she has written in english tamil and hindi this is wall in english hindi mein deewar aur tamil mein swar hindi mein darwaza in english door and tamil mein kadav in english it is window hindi mein khidki in tamil jannal in english this is table hindi mein mez in tamil mejai when children come and they can notice it so they can connect it now the question which may arise in you is how come children will see a word and learn we have to begin with the conventional thinking of we have to begin with the letters of alphabet no see teachers research has proved and we also know that we have never learnt in our mother tongue the letters of the alphabet first then moved on to words and we call it whole language perspective the basic unit of teaching children is word or word chunk chunk so teach for meaning so this is the first and foremost thing we should attempt to make children notice language associating with the objects so we are teaching for meaning so how a teacher engages children through an activity so she has picked up a story and made in uh, two versions of it in one story a she has removed the even sentences sentence 4 sentence 2 4 6 yet likewise in the second one she has removed the uh, odd sentences that is 1 3 so wa- children are working in pairs so one child is given this a the other child now the first child will read out uh, the first sentence the second child will write likewise they complete it now we will see how uh, we will demonstrate it 
one day a farmer found in the nest of his goose an egg all yellow and glittering the second sentence is when he picked it up it was as heavy as iron he killed it and opened it he killed it and opened it comma only to find nothing well then both of you have mutually done it okay i'm going to ask one of you to read out uh, generally both should read out but let's say one of you read out then find out the other person can find whether your partner has listened to it properly and written the story from come on who is going to read out you can read. okay i'll read from the beginning fine but you read the whole story okay fine. one day a farmer found in the nest of his goose an egg all yellow and glittering when he picked it up it was as heavy as iron he was going to throw it away because he thought somebody has been playing trick upon him but he took it home and soon found to his delight that it was an egg of pure gold every morning the same thing happened soon he became rich by selling his golden eggs as he grew rich he grew greedy he thought that he can become rich very soon if the gold of the goose comes all at once he killed it and opened it only to find nothing fine the farmer the greedy farmer got his reward so you may ask a question how this is engaging children with language you know they are working in language with language by reading out the other child listens writes so this is what enga- one of the ways of engaging children with language so this may be done in classes 3 4 kind of thing then come on the second activity for engaging with language so the teacher is reading out five sentences a story of five sentences two children or three or four children together listen to it and they don't write when the teacher reads out in between the teacher reads completes all the five sentences then children discuss among themselves recreate the story nearer to the story not exactly the same story two frogs it was a hot summer all the ponds and lakes had got dried up two frogs went looking for a new place to live in they found a well let's jump in there's lot of water here we can live happily said one frog no no said the other there is water here now but if it dries up we cannot ever come out now try discuss create the story sure sir it was our summer yes so it, it it yes so it's a story about two frogs yes. it was a hot summer as you said mm-hmm. uh, what else so they were looking for water in a lake yes. because their own lake was dried, dried up. up so okay. after finding what they found out they found, they found out a well, well which had water yes yes and one frog said let's jump in yes it has water and we can live happily here yes and the other said no no it has water now yes but it will dry up soon yes. and when it's dried up we will not be able to come up again yes so absolutely I'm out of it. yes i'm going to ask you um, read out the story okay let me read out what have we created here it was a hot summer all the ponds and lake had dried up two frogs when looking for a new place to live water. they found a well let's jump in said one frog it has a lot of water we can live happily said another no no it has water now once it get dried up we will be never able to come out of it fine okay you have got nearer to the story i also wanted uh, to recreate a story 
nearer to it not necessarily exactly the same so i'm going to read out to you you check it how far you are nearer so i'm happy that you got the meaning of whatever was read out yes, fine sir. okay it was a very hot summer all the ponds and lakes had dried up two frogs went looking for what a new place to live in they found a well let's jump in there is lots of water here we can live happily said one frog no no said the other there is water here now but if it dries up we cannot ever come out okay what you have missed out is so one frog said something the other frog said another that yes. particular thing but the story is story remains intact teachers let us understand in this story also they have to listen very carefully observe its meaning and recreate the story nearer to it if they create exactly well and good because it's only five sentences but if you say 10 sentences uh, children have to process it in their mind this is called we call it language processing teachers and uh, of course resource persons and key resource persons we will have to really in, uh, demonstrate to teachers that this is how things can be done let us do activities which teachers can adopt to the classroom with modification so that's why these two three activities they are they may be very trivial simple but they engage children with language this is the major thing so you may devise anything even reading out storytelling see that each and every class of yours in your training gives ideas for teachers to engage learners with language so thank you very much so we hope that we will uh, carry carry forward these ideas